Pat, in um, all the test match wins you've been a part of, where does that one rank? Is it number one? Number one, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, start of Ashes series, number one. Was there any point there where you were actually confident that you were definitely going to be able to pull it off until you know, the winning runs were actually hit? Um, probably when we got down to about 10 or so, I thought, or maybe 16 or something, we needed like two runs and over, and I felt pretty confident. But it felt like from almost the first session of day one, it was 50-50 the whole way along. Like it just never felt like it swung too far one way or the other. And I reckon that was the same until about, yeah, 15, 20 minutes ago. It just felt 50-50 the whole match. Um, Pat, just looking on from the outside, it looked like you and Nathan Lyon were doing it very matter-of-factly, but he's not generally the coolest of people. How is he out there? <laughs> and how did you make it look so cool? <laughs> uh, he was really good. Um, I think you hear everyone say, and it, it's really true, Like when, when you're in the change room, and it's not in your control, you get way more nervous than you do actually out in the middle. Um, once you're kind of in the moment and in control, it's, you kind of, I don't know, just you feel, oh, well, it's mine to win or lose, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, but Nate was awesome, he was really chilled. When he's batting, he's always pretty talkative. So um, yeah, I think he helps him out, but it helped me out as well, pretty, pretty chilled out there. Pat, um, Ollie Robinson said earlier in this test that you guys have three number 11s. I don't think he was talking about you, but um, with Nathan and Scott and, and even Josh, who was probably a bit nervous watching on there. Did they kind of use that as fuel? I uh, didn't hear that one. Um, Leachy did all right at the number 11 last series as well. Um, yeah, you know, it's something we all practice. Nate puts a lot of time into it when he's back home as well. He, he puts a lot of time into his batting, so... Yeah, we all had pretty strong plans, even I think the adjustment from the first innings, you know, got a couple of bumpers and everyone went out there with pretty clear plans. So, yeah, proper team effort. Um, Pat, there was a period there, um, Joe and Ben bowling with the old ball where the score didn't go very far. You then took on Joe and hit him for a couple of sixes. Firstly, was it a plan to take the game as deep as you could? And was that moment something you, f you felt you had to do something to get some momentum back? Um, you know, it really ebbed. Um, ebbed for the, pretty much all today, but it, it felt like if the scoreboard wasn't ticking over, 70 felt a long way away. Um, and Joe, as an off spinner to me, felt like probably my best chance to score some runs. So I just thought um, if the ball's in my area, gonna you know go for it. Um, same with Alex Carey. You know he did the same for she didn't come off for him, but um, you know I think that's our our best way to try and chase down those runs. And then yeah, once we got a little bit closer, it felt like you could get one or two and over kind of without taking so many risks. Uh, Pat, what did you think was the most decisive or the most decisive moments of the of the test match? <clears throat> uh, you know, I think Uzi was probably the most decisive player. The most decisive moment. Um, don't know. Don't know, really. I, I felt, um, you know, bowling him out yesterday, I felt... Like two eighty odd was a, a total that we should chase down. Uh, and um, just wondered if um, if your team was eight for three hundred and ninety three and your best batsman was flying on a hundred, would you declare? <laughs> uh, probably not. No. Were you surprised? Uh, not overly surprised. Um, but you know the, the wicket pro felt pretty good, so I, I thought. Every run was was pretty much needed in that first innings. Um, hi Pat, over here. Um, maybe it's too soon, but did memories of, of Headingley at all come into it? Um, the fact that you and Nathan played such central roles four years ago, and your kind of devastation at the end of the, the, the winning runs being hit versus your elation at the winning runs being hit this time. Yeah, I would be lying if I said it didn't. Um, yeah, we've been on the other side of it <laughs> last series. So um, I think, you know, just what a wonderful test match, really hard fought. And it's one of those ones when, yeah, you're on the other side of it, really hurts, feels like one that got away. So um, it's a pretty happy dressing room in there at the moment to be one nil up in the series. And a lot of those guys were there at Headingley. So to feel like we, um, we clinched one kind of that perhaps was out of our grasp there for a little while. It's, 
pretty satisfying. Um, Pat, there's been a lot of, uh, said about the different styles of play and maybe slightly different philosophies. Do you think that the contest between that is part of what made this such a brilliant test? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, absolutely. Um, you know, we've been big on how we want to play. Um, and I think we've been pretty consistent over well, the last 20 test matches. And, um, yeah, this time it was, you know, good enough to get the win. A um, couple of key players missed out as well, which, you know, doesn't tend to happen. So, um, yeah, really happy that, um, you know, again, away test matches are really hard to win. So to come over here and win that first one, going about it the way that we want to is... Um, it's been yeah, it's a great week. Uh to the spectacle. Yeah. Uh yeah, I think it's yeah, fans obviously enjoy it. They're pretty noisy out on the hill. Um I think it yeah, it looks maybe a little bit different to some test matches in the past, but um yeah. yeah. Uh, Pat, just on that, sorry, um there's a bit of sort of discussion about the tempo that you guys played as, and the contrast that it was. Did now that you've seen the, their approach sort of firsthand, are you happy? Is the result vindication of the way you played, or do you think you need to tweak anything now that you've uh, got an idea of how they come at it? Uh, I, th I think win or lose, you know, we'll, we're pretty comfortable in how we go about it. Um, we've been really good for the last 20 Test matches, a couple of years. So, um, you know, winning's nice. Um, <laughs> But, yeah, I think we're at our best when we play at our own pace, our own tempo. Um, I think that we could being quite slow, probably slowed down that tempo that we're normally at at times as well. Um, but, you know, you saw something like Uzi, just the way he managed and negotiated his way through an in innings was, was pretty special. Pat, um, you'll be aware of the comparisons with 2005. Australia won the first test then and lost the series. What are you going to do to make sure that doesn't happen again? Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of talk this week about 2005, but <laughs> I think we we're all about 10 years old when that happened. So, <laughs> honestly, I've seen the last over highlights, but that's about it. Um, uh, I mean, 2019 is probably the series we look at the most because most of us were here, and that kind of, you know, two all at the end of the series, that felt like kind of unfinished business. So, um, again, we played, obviously, you know, England this first test match, but India, you know, a week ago as well. So we feel like we're... We're well suited to these conditions. We're used to them. Um, we're a, a fairly stable team. And, um, yeah, we know what we need to do to be at our best. And we'll just keep doubling down on that. Pat, not just in your reign, but uh, well before that, Australia hasn't won many close tests over the years. It tends to dominate tests. How important is it to, to be able to win some close ones just for confidence and, and the experience of the group? And also, did you think back at all to your first test in South Africa in, in 2011 in, in similar circumstances? I, I think it's huge in that, um, you know, you just need that belief to be able to win from anywhere. Um, I think in T20 cricket, because there's so many close games, that's where you, you talk about momentum and confidence and those kind of things. But it's the same test cricket, having that belief that, Anyone's a match winner. Um, you can be the guy to step up and win. You know, these are the moments that, w when you're in the backyard playing as a kid, you wish to be in these moments. And seeing, um, you know, going out there and being in the middle of an Ashes series, having that drive. That's what you want from every teammate. So, um, yeah, it's great to be on the winning side. Um, thinking back to debut, uh, again, yeah, I actually did. Um, yeah, I was uh, at one stage. Yeah, batting out there with Nathan, I was imagining back in the sheds, praying like he was in the in my debut test. <laughs> Pat, Pat, firstly, congratulations. Um, there were some really beautiful moments after that match and embraces. I'm not sure if that was your dad on the, the balcony of the change rooms. Um, how special was it to be able to share that with him? Yeah, just really special. Um, yeah, dad's been here all week, so I just feel really lucky to have him here. It's been a tough few months, so um, my brother's been here all week as well. Um, yeah, Dad was here in 2019 with Mum, so just yeah, having him here is just just really special. So yeah, you saw uh, I went with him to uh, Bruce Springsteen on the first night this week as well, so it's been a good week. He's, he's pretty happy. <laughs> Pat, uh, was that the plan to sort of from the Saturday just bat as many overs as possible and see how it goes? 
Uh, no, I wouldn't say that specifically. Um, again, just try and maximise the amount of runs we can get. Um, yeah, the pitch wasn't really speedy, so probably took a little bit longer than would normally take, but just play at our own tempo. I lost a few early wickets, so just rebuild. Did you at uh, any time consider playing for the draw in that last session? Playing for the draw? Uh, no, no, no. I think maybe we got a bit closer and we are nine down. You might think about it, but no, never. Uh, did you say you went to Bruce Springsteen that night? And if so, what song did you actually get to? Because you couldn't have got there at the beginning. No, I, I got in there, I think it was whatever kiddies, whatever it is. I missed about the first 20 minutes. But, yeah, he puts on a show like he always does, the boss. Great week. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.